ready to get eaten. Look at this guy. He's all get he's all pumped up now. I just cleaned out my bed. You know, I'm heavier. I got bigger tires and everything, but you're going down. You think so? Oh, huh? I'm confident. I learned how to drive today, and yeah? I feel confident. I hope, I hope I hope whoever taught you is really good at it. Yeah, he sucks. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> so we just went and did a zero to sixty test with Chris's truck. Go to his channel and see what he did. <laughs> but uh, needless to say, the race. It's not going to be too bad. Yeah, no, it's definitely be a good race. It's going to sure. be, yeah, be a good race. It's going to be good. I don't so, think you're beating Shaw. I don't think... I'm you don't beating, think so? Dude, I just watched the video that we made of me racing Shaw, and he pulled on me. Did he? Given that was the street tune and everything, but, oh, like, man. he went from, like, a bat, for, bat, bat out of hell. Oh, man. Okay. So. Well, well, let's see. One step at a time. Yeah, for sure. We'll see what this... What, what the good old boy can do right now. Still, still stock turbo... Stock injectors. Stock turbo, stock injectors. Yeah. I don't know what you're proving all, over here. We're, we're all stock. Yeah, we're all stock. We're all stock. <laughs> and we'll see what, what the difference really is. Good old boy. A good old boy. I think we need to do some upgrades on a good old boy. Yeah, I'm thinking so. 1023, what's up, man? We need to get some <laughs> more, uh, some more HPs here. Jesus, man. Can you pay up? <sighs> Look, man. I'm a man of my word. I had the can, money. Can I, can I go I, on? Look, dude, I had the money to pay you if can you I want. Can I go on pay? All right, can I borrow 500 bucks? Can I borrow 1,000 bucks? <laughs> so you can give it back. Yeah. I'll pay you back. Yeah, I'll just, just PayPal me. It'll be cool. Damn it. <laughs> so as you can see, the 7.3 couldn't beat the modded or chipped. We'll call it chipped. It was chip yeah. for chip. It was chip for chip, yeah. Chip for chip. The 7.3 held it. I think it held its own. It did, it did pretty no, decent. I'm pretty impressed. Honestly. Not bad. So the next round of mods should put me over the top. Should should put the good old boy over the top. I'm hoping to get a set of injectors uh, and then also a turbo. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if you guys like this stuff. Um, we we have trucks. We have all kinds of cool stuff. So, so we're, much toys. We're trying to we're trying to have fun. What do you think, Marcus? When you hopping in the races, dude? Yeah. One eighty versus Roadster. One eighty versus Ricer. Dude, the car was locked in this morning. I would have drove that. I heard the keys are there. I heard Marcus is building a race car. He is building a race car. How's yeah. that? How's that Miata coming? How's that TB? TB V2 coming. Third bucket V2? <laughs> yeah. We're bringing it back, too. We got a shifter, and then we're going to spray paint the trunk. Hell yeah. I like this. Um, but no, we need to sell this thing. Anybody wants it? 2000 Two grand. Two grand. That's cheap. Yeah. It drives, runs, everything? Yeah, I just fixed the steering last night. Two grand? Yep. Dang, that's a deal. Fuck, it's, you sure? Without these wheels, it's cheaper, though. Okay. It's cheaper? Yeah. <laughs> 
How much this cheaper? When you when you say without those wheels, you have wheels to put on it. Yeah. yeah okay. I, I, have another I was gonna wheels. say you can't drive it if you <laughs> don't have wheels. Okay, so fifteen hundred bucks with a, what stock wheels or something? Yeah. With stock wheels, hit up Marcus. Don't uh don't wait. That's that's a deal. I he thought just, so too. I told him he was selling it for too cheap, but he just wants the money fast. So yeah, I just hey, good old it. Ruddy back. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So, so yeah, we're building race cars. Though. That's good. You know who else is building a race car? Carla. Carla. Carla's building a race car. Check this out. Yeah, guys haven't seen it yet, but here it is. This is Carla's T2. It's T2 D2. So we we found uh one of one of my customers actually told me about it. He had a friend who was who had this little bad boy for sale. And uh we went and scooped it up because we can't turn down rotary cars. None. Look at it. I mean, like a little bit on the back. That's it. That's it. That's on the hatch. This is all the rust there is, and it's on the hatch. And that's just part of its character. That's not even part of the car, really. Yeah, technically. That's when you hit the wall, I mean, you replace it. <laughs> anyway, Carla is building a, a autocross slash, slash like maybe drift, maybe drift car. We'll see. <laughs> it's already got a Sparco seat and wheel and stuff, so it's got a button for Diet Coke. It's got a button for nitrous. It's got a button for some for radio and Diet Coke. Diet Coke yeah. That's what it says on there but it's a pretty sweet car everything's really uh really genuine really honest on this car Does it, have AC? it has ac oh wow well, right yep now and now the power windows work too well it has it i just have to recharge the ac but you put that it has on there for the window that for the yep and then i put a switch on the other side because both the window switches were bad uh, but we got them working so anyway stay tuned for that let me know what you guys think of course we love rotary stuff and uh rx7s are just part of the game here you guys are the rotary gang of the, of the Miata gang. Yeah, well, we're gonna battle it out one day. Oh, I would love that. All right, well, I would love it. it's gonna happen. Well, you already beat me with the Roadster. That doesn't count. I'll beat you with everything. Gee, that's his goal. Even Dusty. I've created a monster. I have, I have to work on that. <laughs> yeah, that everyone does. All right, so we've got the Suron out. Finally, have the uh, the brake upgrade. So I wanted to run it by you and show you exactly what we're working with. So those of you who are need to be caught up to speed, this is a electric bike called a Suron uh, that also was sold under the name of Segway. And as stock, these bikes are a five kilowatt bike uh, with like a 30 mile range. They do about 45 miles an hour and Basically, I've taken that bike and turned it into an absolute monster with a few parts. We've upgraded, the main thing is we've upgraded the controller. This is an ASI BAC8000 from ERT. This is a light speed 72 volt battery, 60 volts from the factory, 72 volts with this battery. We've got an upgraded seat on it. And the controller from ERT comes with this really cool display which if you've seen the other videos, you've already seen this, but it's updated, latest technology firmware. Super cool setup. It's got like day and night mode, does all kinds of good stuff. It's the heart of the entire system. Um, these are the Supermoto wheels. I've also done a belt upgrade. This wheel in the front though is special. This is from Wicked Wheelworks. Uh, Josh at Wicked Wheelworks helped me build this because what I wanted to do was run a dual front brake system. The bike comes with one front brake from the factory on the left side, and it's a, it's a smaller rotor. So we've upgraded to a bigger 225 millimeter rotor on both sides with this custom wheel. Uh, and this effectively reduces the load, the braking load, on the components. So we'll increase the longevity of the parts as well as help out in general, just overall braking. Dissipating heat, we've got twice the braking uh, workforce that's available in order to accommodate the load. These are Hope rotors with titanium fasteners. Um, the, the calipers that I wanna run are actually a Tektro caliper. This is a temporary that I found on eBay, so it does the job, but it's not gonna do the job as well as the Tektros the real genuine brand. Um, but either way, I'm gonna take this out. We just got, I just got the brake 
bled, the front brakes bled, and I'm gonna take it out, and just take it for a little ride and see how it feels. It should be really good. I'm not looking for an increase in braking power. I'm looking for an, in like, like I told you, I'm looking for a, uh, a better heat dissipation and just overall longevity, because this thing kills brakes. In this mode or in this exact shape with these parts, uh, I actually set the record with this bike at 86 point, I think it was 86.7, I can't remember, you have to look online uh, at the other video, but it was over 86, it was basically 87 miles per hour, GPS uh, verified, redundant with two GPSs, and no one, to my knowledge, has been able to accomplish that yet, and if they have, they did not prove it, so if you have proof, show me, either way. 86, 87 miles per hour, zero to 60 in uh, 5.9 seconds. I believe it was 5.9. I have to go back and look at the video. Zero to 30 under two seconds, 1.9. And uh, just a crazy, crazy little bike. It's, it's essentially mountain bike parts. I hate to say that. We got like a downhill fork. It's really a, a decent quality, but it's a downhill fork. Um, and I've upgraded, like I said, the front wheel bearings in the front wheel as well. Um, the belt drive in the back that gets rid of the chain. So that quiets things down. Suspension is D and M. So either way, oh, this custom seat too, forgot to mention that. Um, but either way, we'll go ahead and take this thing out now. I want to see how these brakes feel. So come along for the ride. All right. So we got that rotor line pretty good now. I can hear it. It's nice and quiet. We'll give it a little bit of a break in. Okay. So let's get up to speed. We'll do a hard stop here. Here's, we'll do 45. All right, here we go. Whoa, whoa, oh yeah, that's good. Very nice. Oh yeah. Oh, stoppy. So now we've got real good stopping power. Still hear a little bit of interference there. I'll have to work that out. The rotor looks like it's got a little warp to it. Sometimes they come like that. Man, does that feel good? It bites real strong. Back the other way. Oh yeah, <laughs> really nice. Wow, really good. Happy with that, so that feels good. can really feel that front tire biting and that back end coming off the ground. Excellent braking, really happy with that. So I'll continue bedding these brakes in and uh, get these rotors aligned nice and straight, make sure everything's good with them. And we should be good, happy with that. So there it is, the dual brakes working pretty good. We're just gonna finish dialing those in, but I'm really happy with that feel. I mean, 
talk about braking power. It increased. I didn't think it would, but it increased. The factory brake uh, could not get that back wheel off the ground. It just wasn't, I mean, in normal braking. I mean, if you lean over the bars and go crazy, yeah, probably could. But it, it, it would not get that back wheel off the ground very easily. And now, no problem, as you can see. It was just lifting that back wheel up. Stoppies, no problem with this braking setup. Um, no heat at all. I mean, they're cold. They're dead cold. They're dead cold. There's no heat in these brake rotors or calipers at all. So uh, I just ripped it up and down the road a few times. Um, went to, down some dirt trails, as you can see. We got some, some white dirt all over it. But uh, really happy with that. I'm impressed. Great fun. These bikes are so good. If you have one of these and you want to copy my mod path, Go look at the videos I've posted because I went in pretty decent detail everything over this bike. And I, I really do like these bikes. I'm ready to try another bike. There's another bike that's coming out that I want to give a, a little whirl to. It's another e-bike. We'll, uh, we'll see when it gets here what it's like. But for the meantime, I'm just enjoying the Suron and all the little mods that we've done to it. Just, just a really cool bike. Uh, again, 72 volt battery from Lightspeed, BAC 8000 controller from ERT uh, with the NXT display with different modes. Really nice. Does a lot of different things. It has there's tons of like, like different controls and stuff in here you can do. It's like your different batteries, all kinds of tuning controls. Um, let's see here. Where's the one? There we go all these different settings just a really really fun tool so you can actually do stuff and it's touch screen so it's really cool um the battery is unbelievable if you've got one of these bikes you're missing out without one of these um power wheelies like like there's no tomorrow this thing does wheelies from 40 miles an hour uh i'm not good at wheelies but it is, it's insane how much power this little thing has. So that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys a little update there. Uh, when I get the Tektro calipers, we'll throw those on and I'll rehash it. But for now, I think, I think we're pretty much tapped out on this bike. It is exactly where I want it to be and it's doing everything I want it to do. So for this area, it's an equestrian area. It's great for the trails, great to take on all the dirt roads and hit every all the canal banks and stuff like that. Gets you anywhere you want to go. Uh, and take it to work. I, just, I ride this thing to work all the time. It does really good on the commute. I'm getting like 35 miles on a, on a charge. And it easily takes me to work and back and a couple little places in between. So fun stuff. Stay tuned for more. Got to get the good old boy a little extra power. I lost to Rudnick, not by much, but Rudnick's got the uh, 6.7, latest and greatest technology, big boy, 500 horsepower, whatever, and the good old boy was right on his door. So go check out that video. That was fun. Let me know what you guys think. I really want to do something. Um, I want to do something different. I want to create on, on, on Shaw's farm. We got a lot of property over there. I'd like to build like a redneck sled. I'm going to call it that. It's like basically a, a dead car or truck, and we turn it into a pulling sled and have some fun out there. So let me know what you guys think of that. I think it's a, I think it should be a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, we can get every, all the trucks out there and see who can pull that thing the fastest. We'll see. I'll come up with something. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.